Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, Chairman of the Caribbean Maritime University Council, Hyacinth Bennett, has resigned following a damning report by the Auditor General pointing to several financial and procurement breaches. Now another member of the Council who has also resigned is this evening shocked by the findings. TBJ's Andrea Chisholm has more in this Primetime News follow-up. A source told TVJ News that Mrs. Hyacinth Bennett's resignation as chairman of the CMU Council speaks volumes, adding that the council is not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the university. In confirming the news, Minister Responsible for Education, Carl Samuda, said he spoke with Mrs. Bennett on Monday. She decided that uh, in the interest of all concerned and based on what has transpired over the last few days and so on, that it was best for her to tender her resignation, which she did, and I accept it. More details are expected on Tuesday when he makes a statement to Parliament. While we await that statement, Mr. Samuda was asked how resignations from the CMU Council would affect the operations of a parliamentary committees. Once the Council is, is dissolved, uh, there is no Council, and we'll have to uh, engage an interim Council. Um, but anyone who has served and so on, I guess it's everyone is free to ask them anything that they wish. And um, some may answer, others probably won't. But when I speak tomorrow, I'll, I'll, you'll have a better idea of what, what is, is involved in going forward. But there'll be, a, there'll be a number of changes, I can assure you of that. In the meantime, Marjorie Kennedy, who has also resigned from the CMU Council, was shocked by the findings of the Auditor General. We had no idea. None of us in the private sector have seen copies of the Auditor General's report, nor were we able to comment on uh, well, the draft. We were never able to. We were never shown it. It was refused. And so we were unable to comment on the Auditor General's report. She said she was not aware of the many breaches at the university. We were dissatisfied with how the, um, the governorship of the school, in particular the accounting section. I was not a member of the finance committee. There were other members, and I know that there was great dissatisfaction by many of them. However, they were not able to, <clears throat> what should I say now, overcome some of the challenges there. The AG report pointed to poor governance practices at the CMU, procurement breaches totaling close to $218 million and close to $990,000 U.S. dollars. The HR policy was also breached as staff were engaged without advertisements or interviews. Oversight by the CMU Council was also limited and portfolio ministries enabled weak reporting systems. Some payments were also unsupported, roughly $333 million and almost $294,000 US dollars. Weak internal controls also enabled the improper transfer of $145 million from CMU's bank account to the Jamaica Maritime Institute Trust Fund. The fund was established in 1997 to receive donations and grants to develop what is now the CMU. The board of the trust has not met since April 2015. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.